hi guys so today we are going to learn about another side effect so if you haven't seen our previous videos uh, we are making a series on side effects in jetpack compose so we have uh, explained how and when we should be using launch effect and when we should be using remember coroutine scope so today we are going to learn about another side effect in our series that is remember updated state basically uh, uh, this is different from uh, launch effect and remember coroutine scope because it doesn't uh, start a new side effect but we use it to keep the reference of uh, variable to the updated state so what is remember update uh, updated state so we use remember updated state uh, when we want to keep an updated reference of a variable uh, in a long running side effect so and without having that uh, side effect to restart or uh, restart on recomposition so for example when we use a launch effect with the key as uh, a true or unit then it, it will start with only once but it is in long running then if we want to keep an reference of a variable uh, in that launch effect then we use uh, the remember updated state so uh, this might looks confusing so let's start and clear it with an example so i'm uh, just continuing with the last project and uh, let me make of another file here so kotlin class or file i am taking a remember updated state example file i'm creating and in this let's make a composable function i'm making a function and remember update state example i'm making it as like this so in this screen to show like how we can keep an uh, reference of a variable uh, in a long running uh, side effect how uh, like if we uh, i will show it like if we take uh, the variable value in a state and how uh, and how we should be using remember updated state in what scenarios so for this i'm going to take a make a screen and in the screen i'm going to take two buttons and i'm going to take the value of the button uh, basically the text on the button and uh, we are going to uh, uh, store it in a text and then we are going to pass it in a function another launch effect or then we are going to see how uh, like uh, after the finishing of that launch effect what the how the value of the updated value how it is showing so uh, like when we should be using the member update state so for this let's me let me take a column and in column okay in column let's take a modifier 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 dot fill max size and here vertical arrangement as arrangement dot center and horizontal alignment as alignment dot center vertically right and inside this let's take two buttons and we will see now okay so for storing the value of the button text let's have a variable first variable uh, i am naming it as button text the text on the button we are getting and uh, we will have it by remember right remember and we will have the state immutable state of uh, first value i am just taking it as unknown you can take okay let's just import it okay again yeah so we have taken a variable button text so we are going to pass this in another composable in the launch effect and we are going to see and on the click of button we are going to update this button text and we are going to see if we just use the state then how the last value what last value will be printed in the launch effect and when we are going to use the remember update state or how it's making the difference for us so okay we have taken the column we have taken the button let take it uh, uh, above this 
okay in column let's take a button button in button on click what we are going to do is so we are going to put the button text equals to uh, first button okay so we are just updating the value and uh, if you want uh, we can just uh, give the name or if you want we can give the size to the button as well so in this I am taking the name as first and if you want to give the color to the button if you can give we can give the colors as like button if, if you uh, don't know how to change the properties then you can go and check our videos on buttons uh, how to use it we can you can see and we can give the background as color dot red color dot I am taking it as green so we have taken the text as first after this button let's have uh, another button so in the, let's take a spacer modifier dot uh, height uh, we have taken the column so we have take we can take the height as 24 dot dp and let's import it just import it once okay and uh, another then take another button so i'm just going to copy and paste it okay so button i'm going to name it as second button and i'm updating the value second green i will take it as yellow right so we have taken the two buttons and let's rename it as second and now so let's have another function uh, the, another composable function as make it a composable and function we will just make another function update timer like this and in this update timer let's pass our uh, whatever uh, sorry uh, we will have the text which we have passed so button text like this and we have a string okay in update timer what we are going to do is uh, let's take a uh, if you have seen our uh, previous video we have taken the timer function like timer duration equals to we can uh, take it as 6000 l so basically six seconds and let's print here what we are going to print uh, first text um, see I'm composing a timer with with text first text what our text is coming uh, that is uh, our button timer which is which we are button text which we have passed okay and after this let's have a, the launch effect and launch effect in launch effect the key uh, we can take as true or we will we are taking as unit because we just want the composition once in the block let's have our suspend function which we created in our main activity so here we have created the start timer uh, our suspend function so which we are going to uh, pass which we are going to call here so let me call start timer and the timer will be wait a minute timer duration and then the lambda in lambda let's just print timer and date and second thing which we are going to pass is print the so the last button text was again uh, let's have the button text which we have passed okay so this is what we are going to do so after this button and let's 
just pass our in default in update timer okay so update timer and we are going to pass the button text right so so when uh, according to this so when uh, I have made this function so we have taken a button text variable and we are updating the button text like on click of first button and second button and we are passing it so when the timer should be uh, ending after six seconds so it should be printing the updated value and let's see it uh, let's run it and see so first of all what we have we have to do we have to update this in our main activity so let me update it here we remember update state example and let's run it and let's see in our device how it should be working so according to our uh, like how it should be working up uh, we have taken the state so it should be in our uh, launch effect it should be printing the value uh, that is updated so let's uh, first of all we have taken the value as unknown so when i'm clicking the button so okay so by default when uh, it is called without and clicking any button it is called as uh, the unknown right so after okay so it will just called once so let me uh, run it again and then i will click the button and then we will see like it is printing the updated value or it is just printing the uh, unknown value let me run it again and we should be getting the timer started okay first button clicked second button clicked first button again so, but the last button text was unknown so it is not uh, taking the second button uh, the value as the updated value okay so in this case uh, to uh, be in these case uh, cases like this when we want to see the latest uh, updated value of a variable in a launch effect then we use our remember update state so for this uh, what we have to do is what we have to take it like this here we have to use like where and button updated button text button text and it should be by remember update state and the new value will be button text right and let's import it just a minute remember updated state and new value okay it is okay uh, that that's my mistake it shouldn't it is it is a value because value is uh, going to remain the same and uh, i have taken the updated button and we have taken the new value so in this let uh, print the value updated value let's see what it's going to be print and then and what we are going to say it uh, last button text after using remember up, remember updated state is and updated button text let's run it and let's see in our example so how it should be working okay so our composition has started first button click second button click and okay so if we haven't used the remember updated state and we are going to see the value of variable just using the uh, state then we are getting still the unknown initial value not the updated value but when we use remember update state it is giving us the last clicked button that is the last click uh, last updated value of that variable that is second button so guys this is how you should be using the remember update state that is basically when you want to uh, 
update uh, when you want to keep the reference of uh, a recent updated value in a, a launch effect or in a uh, you know uh, coroutine scope then you should be using the remember update state to keep the reference of updated value and this is how you should be using so this is that's it for today guys do let me know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions then put down in comments and keep watching and let me know if you want uh, uh, to make me uh, make video uh, make me videos on some specific topics do let me know that as well in comments and till then keep watching do like comment and subscribe that's all for today thanks bye